So I'm here in Northern California at California, according to their license agreements, most popular um, gun shop. So it's a pawn shop, a gun shop, second hand stuff, generally a very manly man type of shop. I want to speak to some genuine gun Americans about what they think about the, uh, the whole gun controversy in America. So this is Adam Jackson at the Old West. So this is really exciting. So I suppose a few questions is um, so over here, like these are assault rifles, right? Nope. Are they not? These are semi-automatic sporting rifles. Okay. What do you use those for? Or just any other, same as any other gun for shooting sports. Okay. Target shooting, hunting, and just recreational shooting. Do you need like a license to own those? Um, you don't need a license. They make you buy a safe handling or a firearm safety certificate here in California. Any other state, you just buy it and you can walk out the door with it. And that's just California? Just California. Assault weapons is something that our politically incorrect uh, people have brought upon us. Okay. There's no such thing as an assault weapon. Assault is something in the mind. You're assaulting people. Yeah. Uh, you can assault them with a stick, a rock, a slingshot. You know, there's no definition. There is no gun called an assault weapon. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's all propaganda news channel uh, politics. Like an AK-47 or an M16, that's, isn't that like an assault weapon? Like what the no, military there's no, such, so, there's no such thing. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It's a semi-automatic rifle. Semi-automatic rifle. It does everything the same as it should. Wow. Wow. That is insane. That's incredible. It feels really well made as well. Sure. Very well made. Same as any of those guns there. Are you a member of the NRA yourself? Sure. Are you a lifetime member? Yeah. Mm. It's our state is against us, not the United States. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. Federally, they could care less what you own, basically. Our state of California doesn't want you to own anything. And what do you think that is? The lefties have been running this place for 35 years. <laughs> Why do they waste so much money on fighting gun control? Is that... Yeah, why is that? Why I don't know. Because That's why I'm asking. Nobody can ever give me the answer. Nobody can ever give me the answer of how much they've spent on gun control in the state. It's something like there are 350 mass shootings in the U.S. each year. 350? That's it, huh? I think, yeah. We don't even make it to, uh, let's see, uh, Serbia, Honduras, where they have thousands and thousands of deaths a year. We're, we're very low on the totem pole for uh, massacres with guns. I guess so, but in the Western in the Western countries, mm -hmm. the U.S. is number one. Isn't it? So I think the last. I don't think so. I think your numbers are incorrect. Okay. Well, well. Since the 1930s, gun crime in America has gone. It's been, well, you figure, before that it was cowboys and Indians. You know, guys were shooting each other for no reason. You know what I mean? You're riding your horse on my land, and now we've been coming into a more civilized world of civilized people and. The news will make you believe something else, but it's just, it's not true. Okay, but there, there, there are still quite a lot of shootings, in the, like homicides through guns. Sure, but added in to how many people there are in the United States, you're never going to solve that problem. That's the, that's the joke of the, of the lefties. They think they're going to stop crime completely regardless of with a spoon or a, or a nuclear bomb. But you'd rather, it's not going to happen. But if you were in a school, you'd prefer someone to come in with a spoon than with an assault rifle, right? Or with a... No matter. Look at China. The guy went and sliced up 27 kids with a pocket knife. Mm. How come nobody's, you know, nobody's writing about that? It's always about gun, 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 gun. Mm. If you notice, I laid the gun down here. It's going to be there tomorrow. It's not the gun. It's not the knife. It's the person behind it. So how do you do that? How do you control a person? How do you do it? You don't. Control? Is there a way to control a person? The only way I know is slavery. Is the only way to control people. Mm. Well, what about things like uh, in the U.S. every every week on average there mm -hmm. is a firearm mm -hmm. death committed by a child by a child under three. How do you? How do you how, what's the kind of solution to that one? Well, it's still again, it's something that's going to happen. You could waste your lifetime trying to figure it out. Mm. But if but okay, like, there's a gun, but. How many parents get in a the car they've been drinking with their kids in the car and wreck at the same time? 
But then that we should legal we should make that illegal. Right? I see driving is a privilege. This owning a gun is a right. Oh, that's um, interesting. From the time my parents were in school, they taught gun safety mm. all the way until the 70s. By the time I got to high school, they removed all guns from schools. There was never any problems with guns in schools. You know, was there shooting in a Texas? Mm. You know that guy in the tower. After that, everything's there's a, a whole shitload of people that uh, don't understand guns or gun control or mm. or safety. I mean, not gun control. You can't control guns. Is there drugs in England? And they're illegal, right? Yes. Okay, so how are you going to solve that problem? That's true, but, but people are kind of like chemically addicted to drugs, aren't they? Okay. So, um, so how do you stop it? It's illegal. It's yeah. illegal here to, to possess heroin and everything else, but still it keeps coming. So how are you going to stop this? Well, I suppose um, if you stop the manufacture of, of them. Mm -hmm. and, so, and then what do you solve? Well, then, then you don't have... I mean, the, the only guns you'd have is what people could make at home, which is... Uh, right, but what are you solving? Well, you solve the... Since the beginning of time, we've been at war. Mm. It ain't going to go away. Well, it might do one day. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe that, you know. it'll never go away. Look over there in Europe. What they do before, you know, they, here they're saying, oh, we've killed all the Indians. Well, what they do in Europe before they came here? They killed each other. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And they go back biblically, what they do? They kill yeah. each other. Well, I'm hoping that we're, <laughs> as, a, as a, like, a society, we're gradually, like, doing that less and less. Like, there hasn't been a but war. Removing the gun is the most, <laughs> is the smallest of all. Mm. Okay. So what, what do you think, what would be, like, your top thing to make the world a better place? I mean, clean up the trash. Uh, your government tells you some things cost too much money to do, but they waste all kinds of it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, pretty much. There's going to be a mosquito fly by and kill all of us one day. Mm -hmm. well, it's not going to be a gun. It's going to be a virus. Mm -hmm. You know, with all your pharmaceutical crap and shit and food, that's kill more people than anything. Interesting. Yeah, I, I suppose a nuclear weapon could be the end as well, could not it? Sure. Humanity. Look at look at Korea. Mm. You know, one person got killed in America, but he's launching rockets every other week. Mm. What's he preparing for? Yeah, yeah. Why are we not getting? Why are we not watching that? Mm. We're worried about an American that's uh, can legally own a gun to not have one. Mm. But how do you fight it? How do you stop nuclear weapons? Well, I guess you like get rid of passive them. and peaceful and standing there saying no, no, no. <laughs> well, you dismantle them, don't you? Eventually, you get rid of them all, and then but no who? one's got Who's them. dismantling? Well, uh, an armed think... force is going to dismantle it, correct? Yeah. Is the UN armed? No, but, but yes, gradually they over are. time. Oh uh, well, I, yeah. The sword is what is what it makes takes change. It. It makes change mm. exactly. But gradually, as time goes by, we all the different nations with uh, with nuclear weapons, we gradually take, get rid of them, and eventually we'll live in a world where there won't be. That's what you think. Yeah. Well, I get. I don't believe it. Because you don't think those people will do it. They'll just tell you they will. And then end up with. Uh, what do you think all our nuclear? How come we have so many nuclear weapons here, and Russia has nuclear weapons there? That's what keeps the peace right now in this world. Mm. Doesn't have to do with the little gun, you know, sitting here on the wall. Mm. You know. I mean, honestly. So, okay, well, that's cool. So, on a lighter note, what is your, like, so, if you were in a zombie apocalypse, what would be... <laughs> now we're really getting out there. What would be your, what would be your weapon of choice out of everywhere in this, in this building? Anywhere in this building? Probably a shotgun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, as in a... You know, uh, as in a zombie apocalypse, was something that, yeah, you know, I, I for that wider it happens probably every day. It's just how, what do you think a zombie is? Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you have masses of people that are starving to death, those are zombies. Yeah, they're going to head to food, you know? Mm. Yes. Um, yeah, well, yes. I mean, that happens anywhere in the world. Mm. You get to see it. But, I mean, zombie, you know, whatever. Shotgun is a great tool. The best tool is to get yourself out of the area. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Get it's not going to be a pretty sight. No. Do you think that will happen in our life? You never know. Some sort of disaster. You know, there's, uh, there's more people than food. You know? Once you remove food, 
Yeah. There's your zombie apocalypse right there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, how many guns do you own yourself? Well, I'm not gonna tell you that. Is that a is that a big question? <laughs> See, I'm from a culture where it would, yeah. Yeah, yours is locked up in a building, and I own a gun at the hunt club. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And and and, it, and you got to be a millionaire to go pheasant hunting. And, yeah. You know. that, that is exactly what it is. In America, <laughs> we can own as many guns as we want. I mean, and you wear tweed as well. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. There's a uniform to wear with, uh, with it. So. Exactly. But yeah, it's just two different worlds. It's a, a world we, that our forefathers left behind and created this one. Mm. And now the whole world is pointing fingers at America like we're the bad people. It's great. To, it's so interesting to watch America because it does affect the rest of the world. But I guess, I guess people in England... But by the news. The, the news, yeah, that's not American. News, yeah. You got people here go out every day and go shooting and nobody has a problem. Mm. And then they go home and they cook dinner and play with their kids. It's the same as anybody else. Mm. They go hunting in hunting season. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that all seems very. You yeah. go shooting sports and have fun. This is like riding a bicycle or four wheeling well, yeah. or riding a horse or walking mm-hmm. through the park. I guess in, in England, people see um, they see America as um, well. They, they see lots of other countries like France and Germany and England, and uh, where um, where it's very difficult to come by weapons mm-hmm. and. Uh, and it's because of their government. Yeah, yeah, and so, yeah, because because of all these restrictions on them, and you can't really make them. Uh, in the UK, you know, manufacturing is very difficult, and because of that, then our last mass shooting was like 25 years ago in mm-hmm. LA, and, uh, and so people say, "Oh, well, this is cool. We just like if we just get rid of the manufacturer, get rid of the weapons themselves, then the shootings can't happen." In the same way that if you could somehow get rid of all the drugs, then um, then you'd end up with uh, no heroin addicts. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, in, in an ideal world, and you just gotta, yeah, that, that, that'd be great. You got to do the best you can. To work to but work. again, I don't. Guns is not the problem. Oh, it's, That's, it's not the cure. People with I, I so, but the access to them, like I'm sure. Well, anybody should lock their guns up. They're valuable. Mm. You should have a safe on them, but a safe only keeps the honest people out. Yeah. Criminals, as far as I know, don't follow rules. No. Not once. So you know, yeah. there's ways to get anything. Well, cool. Anyway, well, this has been really good. So I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. And thank you so much for taking the time to do this as well, because uh, this is, yeah, I feel like Louis Fru. So cool. Anyway, thank you very much. And thanks for watching. Wow. So that's what you'd have in something like an SA80 or something, is it? Mm-hmm. Your AKs are going to be 30 cal. Wow, that's just. This is real life.